today we're heading off to the gym uh, we're talking a little about a um, bit about my workout schedule and we're gonna cook some food chicken stew tag along Well, it's early morning, uh, Wednesday, my first vacation week, uh, 7 a.m. and I'm just heading off for the gym for, um, what is it, it's, uh, shoulder triceps day and some nice cardio too and um, ah, feels good to be back in the gym after a uh, resting day yesterday uh, between these uh, workout sets so let's go to the gym guys yeah on the bike doing some warm-up cardio uh, I do 15 minutes warm-up and uh, I <coughs> like to use the bike uh, uh, a spinning bike in this case and I do it for 15 minutes and it gets the heat uh, in the body so the muscles will work better when I get on with the real workout later so that's a tip 15 minute bike ride to warm up the body
since I'm between a kind of two workout schedules, I can indulge myself to eat a little bit more uh, fancy than just uh, minced meat and rice. So today I'm going to do a chicken stew, we can call it. We have a chicken that I'm prepared um, now, so it's going to go a lot faster. Um, some leech, uh, some curry, some avocados, some chicken stock, some soy sauce, some mushrooms, some mango chutney, and some creme fraiche. And then we're going to serve that with, uh, well, I think we're going to serve it with some pasta today. So, we get right on to it. So, we're moving on. I have chopped the, the leech here. Um, I shall divide the, the chicken, chicken breast into centimeter size cubes, sort of. And then I will uh, fry them together in the frying pan. Uh, and then add the other stuff. So let's go. I don't want the, the chicken bits to be too small because my experience is that um, it gets a lot juicier uh, when the bits are not as too tiny so let's chop them up nice like that so there's that and the pan is ready so we hit on the leech Together with the chicken. Oh, whoops. Oh, that happens. So. And since the chicken is already pre made. Yeah, this dish is very good as this final preparation goes quite fast. Then we add some curry. Have some leftover curry. So about a tablespoon or something like that. The mushrooms. We divide the chicken stock cube or what you call it in English. So Some avocados, we shall divide it. So, take out this hard thing in the middle. So, we have two avocados. Just to divide them quite big in here.
so. Kind of messy. Messy. Now the water for the pasta is boiling. We have some not good pasta today. The choice on my son. Scissors somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere. We'll take a knife instead. Pasta will boil for about 10 minutes. So. Now we should add in the last part some soy sauce, about a teaspoon. We have a, what do you call it in English? In Swedish we call it matlångningsgrädde. It's a lower, lower fat content than ordinary, ordinary whipped cream. About two and a half deciliters. We have some crème fraîche. Salt. And the mango chocolate. Two deciliters of the mango chutney. And now this should, should boil together. Now the, the hard work is done and uh, pretty much just some waiting time for all to get hot and the pasta gets ready. And uh, this will take about 10 minutes and it's ready. We'll be back then. So, it's almost ready. The pasta is done. And the chicken stew is nice and yummy. So, bon appetit! Yeah, well now lunch is ready. This afternoon I will uh, try to summarize my first workout period and uh, send the data to uh, my coach to finish off that project. And then I'm gonna get my teeth, sink my teeth, what do you say, uh, start looking at uh, filling out some forms that my new coach want for our 24 week project starting uh, next Monday. So that's what I'm going to do today. 
hope you all have a nice day. S see you. Bye.